Today we're going to cover an AP question of Camp Newton, and I've, it has four parts, and I've broken it down into its four parts. A water tank at Camp Newton holds 1,200 gallons of water at time t equals zero. During the time interval zero to 18 hours, water is pumped into the tank at the rate of W of t of this function. This is the function of the rate at which water is pumped into the tank. And during the same time interval, water is removed from the tank at the rate of R of t. So this is the rate at which water is being pumped out. A, is the amount of water in the tank increasing at time t equal 15? Why or why not? In other words, is the rate at which the water is changing in the tank, is the rate positive? Well, the rate at which the water is changing in the tank is equal to W of t, the rate at which it's being pumped in, minus R of t, the rate at which the water is being pumped out. We need to find C of 15. That's equal to W of 15 minus R of 15. We need to plug 15 into the two functions. We have 95 square root of 15 times we need sine squared, sine of 15 divided by 6 squared. And then minus 275 times sine of 15 divided by 3 squared. That's equal to negative 121 and some change. So we got negative 121.090. Uh, so the water in the tank is not increasing, the water in the tank is decreasing. So we'll say no. Uh, rate at which water in tank is changing is negative. Letter B, to the nearest whole number, how many gallons of water are in the tank at time t equals 18? Let's put this function into y1 and put this function into y2. So we have y equals 95 square root of x times, and we're going to have sine of x divided by 6 squared. In the second one, we have 275 and we need sine of x divided by 3 squared. And they want the number of gallons that are in the tank at t equals 18. We start out with 1,200, and then we're adding on the displacement from 0 to 18 of uh, the, the, the amount of gallons in the tank. So we have w of t minus r of t dt. So this is going to give us the displacement after 18 hours, how much ended up being in there at 18 hours. It could be 50 gallons, it could be down 10 gallons, but that's what we're going to find out. Let's get out of here, go to math number 9, and we're going to integrate, uh, we need y1, so function y1 minus variables, go to y variables, function, we have y2, comma x, comma 0, to 18. And we're going to find out what is the displacement of the water in the tank after 18 hours. Now these are some pretty complicated functions, so it does take the calculator a little while to, to calculate this value. The displacement is 109 gallons, so at the end of 18 hours uh, there's a difference of 109 gallons, but we started with 1200, so we're going to add on 1200 to this. The answer that we're looking for is 1,309 gallons, uh, 0.788, but it says uh, to the nearest whole number. So the answer they're looking for is 1,310 gallons. At what time t for 0 to 18 is the amount of water in the tank at an absolute minimum? Show the work that leads to your conclusion. Well, how do we find mins and maxes? We set the derivative equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to w of t minus r of t. This, this represents the derivative, the derivative of uh, how much water is in the tank. 
we could add over r of t and say, well, now we need r of t equal to w of t. In order to find out where these two equal each other, we can graph the two functions and find their intersection. Let's go to y equals. Maybe on the second function, we'll make this a little darker line. You can arrow over to how it's graphed, press enter once, and you'll get a darker uh, graph when it graphs. Now, if we go to the window, we have to go from 0 to 18. That's what this problem is for, 0 to 18. And by playing around with the numbers, I figured out we're going to have to go to 300 to fit the graph in. So we have 0 to 18, and then you have to change this one to 300, and I chose to go by 50s. Let's graph the two functions. We're, we're going to look for the intersection point of the two functions. That's where r of t will equal w of t. There's one intersection point, and there's another intersection point. Whenever we have endpoints like 0 and 18, we have to consider them for mins and maxes. So we need to find the original function, or how much uh, water is in the tank at t equals 0 and at t equals 18. And then there's two other points that we want to investigate. We have calculate an intersection point. Let's get a little closer to the actual value. Press enter twice. Then arrow back to this point right here. And the, the value where these two functions are equal is t equals 6.495. And there's another one. So let's uh, get this intersection point. Number five, uh, arrow over to this other point. press enter twice and then guess it's about right there. So we need to consider t equals 12.975. Well at t equals 0 we know we have 1200 gallons. Now let's get back out of here and we can get back up to this point right here uh, second entry, second entry, there we go and we're going from 0 to 6.495. I missed the point. 6.495. And we're going to add 1,200 to that. We have 525.242. Now we can go back to second entry. Change this to 12. 12.975. And I'll have to insert that parentheses. We press enter. At 12.975 we have 1,697.441 gallons and then finally we have to go second entry and change this to an 18. So we have 18. We can delete off this decimal portion and press enter. At 18 hours we have 1,310 gallons, which we already knew, so the tank is at a maximum at T equals 12.975 hours. D, for T greater than or equal to 18, no, no water is pumped into the tank, but water continues to be removed at the rate R of T until the tank becomes empty. Let K be the time at which the tank becomes empty, right? but do not solve an equation involving an integral expression that can be used to find the value of k. So no water is being pumped into the tank and, and only being pumped out. So we're going to use the equation for pumping the, the, out the water in the tank. Now uh, at 18, at 18 hours we have 1,310 gallons let's say. So we're going to go from 18 to k of r of t and we want to know when that equals 1,300 and, and 1,310 because when it pumps out the remaining water then the tank will be empty.